All right, what up guys? Um, Cacti Fanatici here. So you guys have been asking to make some media. So here we go. Um, so these are all the ingredients that we're gonna need to make a basic tissue culture media. Um, so this is gonna be a media that has no hormones. It's just meant for mostly popping seeds. Um, there are a lot of plant species, including cactus also, that don't require hormones. It actually just requires the direction of the cutting that you put. If it's either upward or downward, um, that will be able to regulate all of the hormones. So if you're in an area that you can't buy plant hormones, um, that's not the only way to do it. Um, but obviously that helps and I'll have another video on that if you guys want to. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do it all for me, help me out. Um, I'm doing this at home to show you guys how easy it is. Um, and I have a whole home set up here. The only thing that you need, kind of, um, would be like maybe a flow hood. You can get one of those for about $1,200, um, even $800 now. Um, but it's not required. You can look up a still air box, SAB, um, and you can do all of that work inside of there as well. Just modify it a little bit um, and you'll be good. So if you look that up, you'll be able to see how to do tissue culture um, in those boxes. A lot of mycology work is done in those, but um, that's fine. So let me start with this stuff. Obviously you can see right here, we have a pH meter, a scale, because we need to weigh the ingredients, and then we need to pH the final solution as well. Um, I'm gonna be making a recipe for half of a liter, right? So I have a media bottle. You can also use a mason jar as long as you have a plastic lid. Um, you can also use a, a metal lid. Um, this method we're gonna go ahead and do with a microwave. Um, so there's no need for an autoclave, no need for a pressure cooker. Um, this can just be done in your microwave as long as your microwave fits the bottle, right? So this is a really tall bottle. Sometimes it doesn't fit in all microwaves, but you can just use smaller bottles. Um, as long as it can be microwaved safely, then there is no problem at all um, doing this method in that type of container. Okay, so we got through all that. So we pretty much have three ingredients. It's, it's not hard at all, right? So this yellow powder right here, um, you, can get, um, you can get a kit from my website. Let me plug myself real quick. Um, so I sell this uh, kit right here that has all of the ingredients that you need. It has all of the pH. Um, we have hormone sets as well if you're trying to do something specifically. Um, but yeah, you can buy that from us, but pretty much what that is if you break it down is this powder right here, which is MS powder. Um, you can buy this from a ton of different companies. You can even get this on Amazon. Um, it's called MS Basil Salt Media Powder. Um, you can get it with vitamins, without. I recommend that you get it with the vitamins um, just because uh, if you don't, you're gonna have to buy vitamins separately, right? Um, so, get the MS media with vitamins. So I'm gonna be using that. We're gonna use plant tissue culture agar. This is a little bit different because it has a really high gel strength. Um, and agar is probably one of the most important ingredients in tissue culture. One, because it's the solidifying agent and two, it can actually mess up your tissue culture. So sometimes you see plants that look like really weird and wet looking, or there's a lot of callus. That's usually due to the agar concentration, to be honest, in, in my opinion. Um, and then we have sugar, right? So just your regular white cane sugar is what we're gonna be using. And then of course, water as our solvent to get everything into solution and get it going, right? So let's go ahead and start. Again, we're gonna make it for half of a liter because when you microwave things, they kind of boil up. Also, I'm gonna mention this again, um, but when you microwave, be very careful and only do small amounts. It's super easy to walk away for one minute, boom, your entire mixture has boiled out. So just keep an eye on it. As soon as you see it start to boil, turn it off, we give it a swirl, right? So let's go ahead and start with our main ingredient right here, the star of the show, the MS powder. Right, so this MS powder was made by two scientists. I'm horrible at pronouncing their name. I'm not even gonna attempt it, but that's what the M and the S stand for. Do, do, do. So we're gonna add 2.2 grams of MS powder um, into our media. 
right? So 4.4 grams if you were gonna make a liter of media. But we are just going to add 2.2. Oops, so that's extra. Two point one one. To be honest, it needs to be close, but it doesn't need to be exact, right? Honestly, if that said two point three, even I wouldn't have too much of a problem with it. But here we go for the video perfection. So two point two, right? So we have two point two. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our media bottle. And. Now we are going to do our agar, right? So again, this is the most important ingredient in my opinion, as far as the morphology and how they're gonna grow. So I like to use eight grams per liter. We're gonna do half, so we're gonna do four grams, right? It also is very dependent on your gel strength. So, you know, if it's stronger, you can use less. If it's less, you can use more. So we're gonna get right to four. Four, um, for the eight grams per liter ratio, um, that gives you a nice solid gel. So you can kind of play with it from there, like the texture, but that's enough to actually have you use the media. So we have our four grams in here. Perfect. All right. Then um, we're gonna do, let's see, uh, 15 grams of sugar. Again, it would be 30, so that would be a 3% sugar concentration. 15, do, 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 sorry. Um, if you want to increase your rooting, if that's what you're going for, you can decrease your sugar to 2% um, instead. So 2% is much more ideal for rooting, right? So we're done. That was That's our main ingredients as far as powders and stuff like that. So we can go ahead and put our sugar aside, our MS powder aside, and our plant agar aside, okay? Now I have our media here, and we're gonna go ahead and fill that up to the 550 liter mark, because I know that on my bottles, that's actually the 500 liter mark. Um, you can get a graduated cylinder to be able to know that, um, but with these Kimball bottles, um, that's just what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our water. right to the 550 mark, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shake. Give this a shake. So I wanna get everything dissolved, all the sugar, all the MS powder. That way when I do the pH, I'm gonna get an accurate reading. The sugar is gonna change the pH, so if you don't get it all dissolved, you're not actually gonna change um, this to the right way. So normally I use an actual sodium hydroxide and HCl solution to um, to do the pHing, but I wanted this to be as home friendly as possible for people that are probably gardening or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, which is like hydroponic pH and pH down, super simple. We're gonna go ahead and check the pH of what this solution is right now, okay? And then we need to get this between 5.6 and 5.8. Why? Why do we want that pH? Because in that pH range, that is um, where the nutrients, that MS powder is pretty much a bunch of salt. It's uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, everything, zinc, everything that you could think of, nicotinic acid, all the vitamins that you could think of are gonna be inside of this solution now. So we need to make sure that it's actually available to the plants and the plants can only eat that between 5.6 and 
right? For the most part. So let's go ahead and check this pH. We may need to pour it out in a cup. So make sure this is very mixed. And let's see what the pH is right now. So currently, we're reading at a pH of about 6.9. So I actually need to bring this pH down, right? So it's always better to start with less. So if we're gonna go down, we need the base. That's interesting. Okay. And then let's see, we'll try this together. I'm gonna try just about a little tip there. And check this pH. Actually needs to go down a bit more, but now I know around how much it's dropping, right? So once you actually measure this, you'll know exactly how much to add per batch, but every time you order MS powder, you kind of have to recheck if the pH varies a little bit. Even the sugar that you're using at home and things like that, right? So it looks like I've made the classic error, which I guess is great, it's happening on camera, that I've overshot, right? So I need to head back up. Again, the first time is always kind of annoying. But after this, it's time to microwave. And perfect. We're actually getting right there, 5.6. All right, so let me pop this in the microwave now. And again, like I said, we're gonna microwave this and keep our eye on it the entire time. I'm gonna microwave it for about one minute to start with. And then after that, about like 45 seconds in a piece. But as soon as I see it start to boil, I'll go ahead and stop and give it a little bit swirl. So let me do the first heat up. All right, 
I'm trying not to show off my dirty ass microwave, but you can see media bottles in there. The cap is on, but only on, right? Like I just put it on with a screw loose or a screw on. So I want it to be able to steam out of there and stuff. I do not want pressure to build inside this bottle. If it does, turn off your microwave and just let it cool, right? So don't try to take it out or anything like that. You're gonna have it in here going. Again, right now I had it for two minutes and it ain't doing nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on for another two minutes just because I'm standing here the whole time. Do not walk away, right? Do not walk away. One, you'll have a mess, or two, it could explode. Make sure you're wearing hot gloves when you pull this out, right? So do all your safety things since you're using a microwave. Use this as a scientific tool now instead of a food tool, right? And everything inside here is pretty much safe. Oh, there we go. That's me. Um, but everything inside here, let me put that for another two minutes. Everything inside here is safe to eat. Um, not that you should, and it's not not something that you would eat, but it's not gonna cause harm to your food if you put this inside here, right? Just this basic recipe is not a problem. Um, so again, just be super safe. I just wanna emphasize that there are pictures of people who do this making agar and stuff like that, and they have burn marks all over their hands, but it's usually for using unsafe glass um, and bad material and stepping away, so. All right, so we've been on about three minutes. And as you can see, it's boiling like that. A person will come in, close that lid, and now I'm gonna go ahead and move this back to our station. Okay, so everything is completely dissolved, completely boiled, and now it's sterile. All right, at this point, you can see it's still boiling a little bit, but we have our media, right? So we can one, set this aside and let that cool and then melt it down whenever we need it so that we don't have to pour everything or we can go ahead and pour this right now. Um, so we could go ahead and just start putting this in Petri dishes or put this in magenta boxes inside of uh, mason jars, anything that's sterile. Um, you can order deli containers and as long as you use them fresh out of the container, um, they work, they're sterile enough for tissue culture. Um, maybe once in a while they'll, uh, you know, kind of come back contaminated, but it's a really cheap option. Um, but there's one thing I wanted to show you real quick. So you'll probably see this ingredient, it's called PPM. Um, this one is specifically from Kaisen, great company to get all of the ingredients that I said. Um, Phytotech is another great company to get all of these things from as well. Um, Mine is even better, obviously, just because you're supporting a small little business and um, I can customize it for you and give you kind of a little bit more personalized experience, but all these people are great. But this ingredient right here is called PPM, Plant Preservative Mixture. Um, pretty much it's, it's not an antibiotic or an antifungal in the sense of like chemistry wise, um, but it is as far as preservative wise, right? So. We're gonna go ahead and add this in here if you're a home use. This ingredient is a little bit expensive, um, but it lets you kind of work a little more freely. It prevents bacteria and fungus from growing. Um, it will still grow um, a little bit. Um, so you do have to work sterilely, but this will reduce it significantly, significantly, right? So for this, we're gonna go ahead and do a 0.1%. So we're just gonna go ahead and use half of a milliliter for this. If you have something very dirty, you can use 0.2%, which would be you know, a milliliter in this case for this media, right? So now we're ready to go. We can pour this even in the open, supposedly without a still air box or a flow hood now, but I, again, prefer to do everything sterile. This is not a one trick type of thing to prevent everything, um, but it does help significantly, right? So that's our ingredient. So this is our basic tutorial on how to make plant tissue culture media. Again, this media specifically would be great for, um, you know, cactus seedlings would do fantastic on this media, um, as well as any type of cannabis plant. I know that's very popular. So using cannabis seeds, on this type of media is a great way to pop them in tissue culture. 
Um, so this is a very basic way um, that you can kind of do everything at home through tissue culture. I ordered all of these ingredients at home um, from online. I live in Los Angeles, California, so all of these things are pretty much available. California is a little bit tricky on getting stuff, so if I can get it in my state, you can probably get it in yours. And yeah, so that's our video. Check out my links, please subscribe, share the video so that I can keep making more videos. Um, and thank you. So I'll see you guys later.